Gabory Sidibe was born in New York City in the Bedford Stuyvesant, Brooklyn neighborhood, and was raised in Harlem. Her mother, Alice Tan Ridley, is an American R&B and gospel singer who appeared on the fifth season of America's Got Talent on June 15, 2010. Her father, Ibnu Sidibe, is from Senegal and is a cab driver. Growing up, Sidibe lived with her aunt, feminist activist Dorothy Pittman Hughes. She holds an associate degree from Borough of Manhattan Community College and attended but did not graduate from City College of New York and Mercy College. She worked at the Fresh Air Funds office as a receptionist before pursuing an acting career. In Precious, Sidibe played the main character, Clarice Precious Jones, a 16-year-old mother of two, the result of Precious being raped by her father, who tries to escape abuse at the hands of her mother. The film won numerous awards, including two Academy Awards, a Golden Globe Award, and Sundance Film Festival Grand Jury Award. On December 15, 2009, she was nominated for a Golden Globe in the category of Best Performance by an Actress in a Motion Picture Drama for her performance in Precious. The next month she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Her next film, Yelling to the Sky, was a Sundance Lab project directed by Victoria Mahoney and starring Zoe Kravitz, in which she played Latonia Williams, a bully. In 2011, Sidibe was in the film Tower Heist and voiced a character in Hot Water, the first episode of Season 7 of American Dad. She appeared in the Season 8 American Dad episode Stanny Tendergrass early in 2013, and starred in the music video for Don't Stop, Color on the Walls, by the indie pop band Foster the People. Sidibe also appeared in the Showtime Network series The Big C as Andrea Jackson. However, in the film, Sidibe was cast in the lead role of Clarice Precious Jones, a troubled teenager. Despite the challenging subject, Precious succeeded and opened doors for Sidibe's acting career. Sidibe's portrayal of Precious challenged stereotypes, showcasing her talent and versatility. The film's positive reception led to opportunities in other projects, including Yelling to the Sky, 2011, highlighting her skills as an actress. Sidibe also appears to be in much better shape on the health front, having made significant changes to her lifestyle after her 2016 surgery. Sidibe has been criticized for her weight and body appearance throughout her career. In May 2012, a Twitter user made a derogatory comment about her appearance, stating that she was ugly. Another tweet from November 2012 by the same user compared someone else's appearance to Sidibe's, using offensive language to describe her as a slightly less ugly fat woman beast. In May 2016, the Oscar-nominated star underwent laparoscopic bariatric surgery, as revealed in her memoir This Is Just My Face. After years of enduring bullies and struggling to lose weight naturally, Sidibe decided to undergo surgery. This was also because she was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, along with her brother, Ahmed Sidibe. In a speech at the Ms. Foundation Gala in 2014, the antebellum alum shared her inspiring perspective on confidence and self-acceptance. She acknowledged that her challenges, including being laughed at and being told she was ugly, significantly shaped her resilience and sense of humor. She added, And if they hadn't told me I was ugly, I never would have searched for my beauty. The starlet emphasized that those experiences led her to discover her own beauty and realize her strength. Expressing her unbreakable spirit, she humorously deflected how she could be confident, suggesting that confidence isn't limited to any specific individual, using Rihanna as an example. Things took a pleasant turn for Sidibe when she crossed paths with her future husband, Brandon Frankel, on the dating app Raya. They had a memorable first date that lasted for hours.
As their connection grew, Frankel knew he was ready to propose and work with a jeweler to create his girlfriend's dream engagement ring. However, the surprise proposal plan was foiled when Sidibe saw the setup in advance, including heartfelt messages and romantic decorations. When it came to planning their wedding, the pair aimed to break away from tradition. They envisioned a non-traditional celebration that reflected their unique style and mixed their Senegalese, American, and Jewish backgrounds. The couple said they planned to choose a private residence as their preferred venue, preferably with a picturesque waterfront view during golden hour. They emphasized privacy and intimacy intending to have a small guest list of around 20 to 75 people, who would genuinely celebrate their love without seeking attention on social media. Sidibe and Frankel reportedly got engaged in November 2020 and chose to keep their marriage private, tying the knot in 2021. During a December 2022 interview, Sidibe revealed that she and Frankel were already married. She explained her lack of fondness for weddings while disclosing that she and her fiancé had already exchanged their vows over a year ago. The actress went on to say that she and Frankel tied the knot at their kitchen table about four months after their engagement, adding that they still planned to have a ceremony at a later date. Sidibe and Frankel seem like a lovely pair who are completely smitten with each other. Frankel has publicly declared his affection for his better half on numerous occasions. He affectionately referred to Sidibe as his queen and praised her for being a ray of sunshine who brought generosity and love to their relationship. The Seven Psychopaths actress has also reciprocated the love by calling her husband her favorite love song and expressing her joy in being with him. The pair, who have been together since around May 2019, was also pictured wearing queen and king hoodies, showcasing their unity. Frankel, who appears to be putting in the work to maintain his fitness, is enamored with Sidibe and never misses the chance to dote on her beauty. The loving husband left an endearing comment on his wife's Instagram post from June 29, 2023, which read, Gorgeous and mine smiling face smiling face smiling face smiling face. Today, Sidibe, 40, is leading a happy and fulfilling life with her darling muscled husband, who loves taking care of her and is her biggest support system. The Tower Heist alum's social media is peppered with photos of her loving spouse cooking for her, grooming her hair, and encouraging her to be happy however she chooses. Sidibe also appears to be in much better shape on the health front, having made significant changes to her lifestyle after her 2016 surgery. In 2017, the actress looked back on her life-changing experience, describing how her stomach was surgically reduced to limit her hunger and eating capacity. She acknowledged that the procedure altered her brain chemistry, leading to a desire for healthier food options. Recognizing the need for a change in her lifelong relationship with food, Sidibe expressed her willingness to undergo the surgery and embrace the necessary transformation. Chúng ta đã cùng nhau khám phá những câu chuyện thú vị và đáng chú ý về các ngôi sao hấp dẫn. Nếu bạn thích nội dung video của chúng tôi và muốn tiếp tục nhận thông tin mới nhất về các ngôi sao, đừng quên đăng ký, like và để lại comment ở phần bình luận bên dưới. Chúng tôi rất trân trọng mọi ý kiến đóng góp của các bạn để cải thiện chất lượng nội dung trong tương lai. Hãy chia sẻ ý kiến hoặc gợi ý thắc mắc mà bạn có thể cho chúng tôi những thông tin chính xác hơn trong những video tiếp theo. Cảm ơn bạn đã dành thời gian theo dõi video này. Hãy nhấn like và để lại comment ngay bây giờ để chúng tôi biết rằng bạn đã thích nội dung này. Đừng quên subscribe kênh của chúng tôi để không bỏ lỡ bất kỳ thông tin hấp dẫn nào về các ngôi sao trong tương lai. Hẹn gặp lại các bạn trong những video tiếp theo.
Chúc mọi người một ngày vui vẻ và thú vị